What's up guys? Just got done working out. Had some arms today. Uh, so I had somebody make a comment to me. Uh, I was trying to explain to her why you know my 12 week bulk program would be good for her goals and you know she was like well you know I probably wouldn't even need 12 weeks. You know, uh, you know, just need to tell. I just need you to tell me, you know, how to do things, and you know, basically, you know, she wanted to pay me just to kind of give her advice over the phone, um, and she wanted to take it from there. Anyways, uh, I told her that wasn't gonna work, and here's why. Okay, uh, I really only sell my programs in 12 week increments. Uh, those are my most popular ones because they get the best results. You know, my, my six-week programs are great, but let me explain to you why my 12-week programs work so well. Okay, the reason is 12 weeks is about the time it takes to get through a 12-week training cycle. Nobody understands anymore why this is important because we've pushed nutrition as being the gateway to results so much that we have basically negated the importance of teaching proper programming anymore. You know, people think they can have this perfect diet or they think they can do keto and, you know, go in there and get get these awesome results and look like a, a god, but they have forgotten that it's not diet that builds muscle, okay? And you need muscle to burn fat. You need muscle to look like a shape. Okay, if you're gonna have a fat ass, guess what? You have to have muscle or it's just gonna be literally a fat ass. It's gonna be skinny fat, okay? It's not gonna look good, you're not gonna like how you look. So you have to build muscle, okay? Now, if you wanna build muscle, you have to force your body to adapt, okay? Now, if you go in one day and you do three sets of six on squats with 225 and then you go in the next week and you do three sets of 25 with body weight and then you go in the next week and you leg press three sets of eight with 500 pounds, are you causing an adaption? No. Your body's literally like, what the fuck? What do I do with this? Okay, so the way that I set my programming up generally unless I'm like really throwing somebody something crazy and I need them to change super quickly uh, you know or they're you know on their HRT or whatever is um, <clears throat> I start them out with a month lifting heavy okay and then you know obviously that that changes each week like because I like people to progress weekly but for example they'll come in they'll squat 225 three sets of six right then the next week I'd have them squat 235 for like five sets of five. So they're forcing their body to adapt because what happens is your body, you know, it tears those muscle fibers, it recruits, it, excuse me, the CNS rewires to recruit more muscle fibers. So the next week you should be able to lift more weight than the week before. So what happens is if you don't capitalize on that, and lift heavier weight or increase you know your volume or do both is your body regresses to the state it was in before you lifted the 225 three sets of six okay so basically what I'm saying is if you don't progress you go backwards there is no kind of like middle of the road maintenance type shit you know you have to always try and push your body forward now here's the deal it takes three to four weeks for your body to adapt, okay? So then after it is done adapting, it doesn't really continue to adapt at the same speed. So after about a month, that's like your sweet spot. Okay, that's, you've got the, the most bang for your buck out of your training, and now it's time to force another adaption. And that adaption is what I like to call hyperplasia because you know, you're gonna split those muscle cells, build some new ones, but you're also going to train your tissue how to hold more glycogen, how to hold more nitrogen. You're basically gonna fill out the muscle that you built and make it look like muscle. This is gonna be using time under tension type training. 
So higher volumes, stuff like drop sets, yada, yada, yada. And then this would be a time, you know, when your nutrition would also coincide with your training with higher carbs, higher protein, because your tissue wants more macronutrients, okay? You also need to be very, very anal about your nutrient timing here because your body after you work out is gonna be starved. It's gonna say, hey, Philip, feed me some fast digesting carbs and protein. So then that's when we'd switch it up from you know being ground turkey, and jasmine rice, to being something like whey and breakfast cereal and honey because you need to spike that insulin and start that glycogen uh, glycogen storage and protein synthesis ASAP while those anabolic hormones are all raging and saying, feed me, feed me, feed me. Okay, so again, you know, you're gonna progress that volume for all of those four weeks, okay? Then at the end of that, you're either gonna deload and go back to step one where you train heavy, okay? Or if you're doing like my lean bulk where the goal is to grow but also lean out by the end of the program, then you're gonna hit some metabolism boosting circuit training workouts that are gonna basically make your body starve, starve, starve for nutrients and burn lots of fat post-workout. Okay, so then after that four weeks, then you can just go back and repeat the program because like they said, 12 weeks is about the length of a training cycle. Okay, so you go four weeks heavy, four weeks, you know, get filled out, you know, split those fibers and everything, and then four weeks of, you know, metabolism boosting workouts, then you go back to heavy and start the process over. But that's the best way to do it because if you constantly just train heavy, after about four weeks, you're not gonna see any more returns. So if you do 12 weeks of straight heavy, you're only gonna look about as jacked as you would look if you did four to six weeks on that program. But if you do four weeks, four weeks, four weeks, then you're gonna see a really, really big improvement because we just adapted on three levels instead of just one. Okay, and again, it's also important to have a coach when you're doing stuff like this because you have somebody to look at you and tell you, okay, hey, you know, we need to modify your nutrition. Hey, maybe we need to up your carbs this week because, you know, you're looking stringy instead of full. You know, all that needs to be synergistically combined to, you know, create an anabolic cocktail and get you the best results possible. Okay, so guys, you know, if you're starting out with a workout program, you know, I'm sorry, it's not enough to just go in the gym and be active. You're not going to get results. If you do get results, they're going to be really bad results. Okay? You have to go to the gym and have a plan and have purpose and structure if you really, really, really want to do well. And I promise you, even if you're not doing programming, you're just going into the gym and working out, you know, every day, it's, just, it's going to be just as hard. You're just not going to see the benefits. Okay? So, you know, guys, um, <clears throat> if you've been debating doing the program, I mean, if it's not my program, if it's somebody else's program, do it. Even if it's going to cost you $700 because the opposite of that is you don't spend $700. You waste your time, your energy, your emotions. You get frustrated going in there and doing shit that doesn't work. All right, guys. So if you want a small taste of what I do, you know, check out my anabolic blast. It's only $47. It's 30 days long. It's designed to get you big and full super, super quickly. All right, so check that out. Uh, I'll post the link with this video.